Good morning, it's Tristan from Wheelworks here. This week we've been focusing on bird spokes and uh, we've had a lot of questions from you guys, viewers, about these things. So we're gonna crack in and uh, I'm gonna answer them for you. Uh, Liam would like to know, can we use bird spokes with any hub or are there specific hubs that we need to use? Uh, his specific question was about the XTR silence hubs, which are completely silent. Um, no, we can't use every hub on the market. We've definitely found a few where we're going to run into interference issues, um, but we can use the majority of hubs, especially the majority of J-band hubs. Uh, why you'd want to use one of those XTR silence hubs, I really don't know. They're not very good. If you want a silent hub, the Onyx hub would be a really good one to look at, and they are doing a bird flange version, which we're going to be getting shortly as well. So that would be the way to go for your sort of silent bird wheel set. Most of the other hubs that we keep in stock here are all of our dial hubs. Um, most of the DT Swiss range, Industry 9, no problems doing any of those with bird spokes. Thanks for your question, Liam. Uh, another Liam, no, the same Liam would like to know, how do we stop these uh, twisting when we build them? And that's, uh, I mean, you can see that they twist up very, very easily. And that's something that happens on steel spokes as well. And in both cases, we use a little tool that, uh, that locks into the spoke and stops it from twisting. And it's just that simple. Uh, in terms of how difficult these bird spokes are to build a wheel with, they are extremely difficult. In terms of um, not stopping them rotating, it's actually the easiest part of the entire wheel build and easier than most other um, spokes that we deal with. So there's a, that's actually an advantage to building with bird spokes there. We've also had a lot of questions about ride feel. How do these things ride? I like answering some of this stuff by testing things first so that we have an understanding of what the spokes are going to do, how that's going to relate to the wheel, and then what are we going to find when we ride the wheel. Essentially, the bird spokes are way more flexible in tension, that's the way that your wheel is built, than a regular steel spoke. Uh, they stretch about three times more than a steel spoke, and the lateral stiffness of a wheel and the vertical stiffness of the wheel is about 20% less than a lightweight steel spoke wheel. So what does that mean when you're riding it? The bike industry for the last few years has gone on this like stiffness is good at all costs kind of thing and it, it's completely misguided. However, we've been told through a lot of marketing that we need these like mega stiff bikes that are like mega precise. And for some people in some use cases that works really well and for other use cases that doesn't work very well at all. So through a whole lot of marketing, we've been told that we want this stiffness and that if it's not, then the bike is gonna be like vague or mushy, really negative words to describe something. The positive words for those attributes are like compliance or that sort of magical steel is real feel where the bike kind of makes its own line through a rough section. If you like bikes, if you like bikes that ride that way, that steel is real, that sort of compliance, then you are probably gonna absolutely love bird spokes. If you want a bike that's really sharp and pointy and direct, then, then this isn't the spoke for you. You're gonna be much better served with like a stiff wheel that's gonna keep its line a lot better. This doesn't mean that bird spokes are bad or that they're good. It just means that they're really, really different and that they build into really, really different wheels to a steel spoke. And that's like, from our point of view as wheel builders, that's super cool. And it's super cool to be able to tie that back to like the static testing we've done and then give these wheels to our ambassadors, give these wheels to our customers and get that feedback that yeah, they do in fact ride that way. I really like these aspects about it and there's some aspects that I don't like about it for some use cases. So that's, that's cool, that's bird. Stuart and Alistair would like to know if we can do macrame lacing patterns or if we can weave these into a Christmas jersey. And I think the answer to both of those questions is probably a yes, although uh, why you would want to, I don't know. The macrame, I mean, technically I think it would be possible. However, the time to build a regular bird wheel set is astronomically high. And uh, I can only assume that it's gonna get exponentially astronomically high if we start doing crazy interwoven lacing patterns. Same for the jersey. If you wanna buy some spokes and, uh, and knit your own uh, bird spoke jersey, Alistair, uh, all the spokes are listed on our website and you're welcome to do that. Next question, please, from Pavel. He would like to know, would we build bird spokes with uh, aluminum rims, not just carbon? Um, yeah, sure, absolutely, no problems at all. Uh, like I said, in terms of that ride feel, like an, an aluminum wheel already has some of that, uh, that vagueness, that mushiness in it, and you're gonna amplify that if you start using bird spokes with them. 
if that's what you want, if that's what you're looking for, maybe this is like an adventure bike where you're gonna be on corrugated uh, roads for a long period of time. Maybe it's a gravel bike where you just want some of that sort of buzz taken out of the handlebars. If you want all of those things, then an aluminum rim bird's boat wheel is gonna be absolutely amazing. If you are like Jesse Shea, like an enduro racer that wants a wheel set that really comes into a corner and pops out with all the energy that he went in, that was his main complaint about the bird spokes. And that's on a carbon rim. So the combo of a softer aluminum rim and the bird spokes isn't gonna give you that pop out of the corners. So just keep that in mind. Again, horses for courses or birds for flying, I don't know. Most of the questions that we have from people were related to durability. And uh, this is a big topic and there's a whole bunch of, well, it's four different things that we're gonna talk about. So sort of bear with me on this one. One of the common questions was, uh, what happens if I like catch a rock alongside the, the, my spokes? This is a super rare thing to happen like in the real world. It, it does happen, um, not so much here in New Zealand because we kind of don't have that train, but it, it does happen. If you uh, strike a rock along the edge of your bird spokes, they're gonna get damaged very, very quickly. And we did a little test uh, to show that. The other kind of thing that we tend to see with spoke braking is uh, a stick or your rear derailleur getting jammed into the wheel. And in this case, bird spokes are extremely durable, like way more so than steel spokes. And the reason for that is that, I mean, like you can't bend them uh, and they're extremely flexible in tension. So they will shrug off your derailleur getting shifted into them very, very well. Uh, your derailleur will not get shrugged off and will detonate, uh, but the wheel and the spokes will be probably completely fine. The other two kind of uh, questions relate to like general wear and tear and the kind of rub on things. You'll see that on a wheel that we've built with bird spokes, where they touch the flange, uh, whether it's a straight pull or a J-bend, there will be some rubbing. Um, the wheel actually moves a huge amount uh, just as you're riding it. And all of that sort of friction will wear away on the bird spokes. How long uh, it takes will depend on how much you're riding, how much kind of sand and grit and things that you, you manage to get stuck into your wheel, how often you're cleaning it, all those sorts of things. That wear and tear is unfortunately just kind of something that is gonna occur with bird spokes. It's not something that you can avoid. And um, all you can do is really just keep the spokes clean to, to you know, lengthen the lifespan as much as possible. It's definitely not a warranty issue, unfortunately. But yes, they will wear from rubbing on each other, either at the crossings or where they do touch the hub, and that's completely unavoidable. So thank you very much for everyone who submitted a question. If you have more questions about bird spokes, you're welcome to reach out to us um, or check out the bird's nest of information that we've put together on our website, which answers a whole lot of these questions and more. The funnest um, part of my week was taking these bird spokes, uh, putting them into the machine that I built 16 years ago to calibrate spoke tension meters and uh, stretching the shit out of them to see how much they extend compared to regular steel spokes. It's been really interesting to take our existing wheel building process and tools and just try and understand these things better and, and uh, really have an appreciation for what they're gonna do well, what they're not gonna do well. So again, thanks a lot for your questions and keep them coming.